discover a simple practice in Buddhism to deal with anger. Welcome to today's video, in which we'll examine practical strategies for controlling and managing our anger. Although it is a normal human emotion, anger has the potential to be harmful if unbridled. If it takes over our lives, it might cause a number of problems. In this session, I'll introduce you to a useful technique that can assist you in managing your anger on a regular basis. Prior to anything else, it's critical to realize when you're angry. Here, mindfulness is essential. Think for a moment about what you are thinking as soon as you feel anger coming on or when you are triggered. What condition of emotion are my ideas in? The first step in handling your anger well is to acknowledge it. Next, pay attention to how you're breathing. When we're upset, our breathing usually quickens and we take shallow breaths. Try purposefully slowing down your breathing to counteract this. Inhale deeply and then slowly exhale. Follow this procedure several times. Similar to how deep breathing helps you unwind after a long day, slowing your breathing can help soothe your body and mind. It's time for smart thinking once you've attained a condition of relative serenity. Examine the mental habits that made you angry. You'll probably come to understand that rather than being caused by outside events, your anger is actually within. Your ability to choose whether to react negatively or positively in situations is empowered by this realization. Keep in mind that your experiences and how they turn out are mostly a result of the decisions you make. As your guiding values, embrace patience, compassion and forgiveness. No problem will be resolved by yelling and being aggressive in response to anger. Instead, it might make things worse and cause you to have lifelong remorse. Put your faith in the power of kindness and patience to respond more kindly to difficult situations. As the wise Buddha noted, hatred is ceased by love and kindness. Anger is not ceased by anger. Think about whether your intended course of action is kind and conducive to your happiness and the happiness of others before you take it. Avoid doing something if it could harm you or someone else. Just keep in mind that while it's acceptable to experience rage in your mind, it's not acceptable to express it verbally or physically. Gradually incorporate these habits into your daily life. Accepting kindness and patience will give you the ability to control your wrath and calmly resolve problems. You can achieve harmony and serenity in your life by practicing these virtues, which are consistent with the loftier ideals of compassion and understanding.